Hello guys, welcome to my first video here. And in this tutorial, we are going to build a project using Next Alt and TypeScript to build an authenticator. And in this case, we are going to use GitHub to sign in. So let's click here to, to see this page content. So yeah, now I am authenticated with GitHub and I can sign out as well. So that's it guys. Let's go to VS Code and start coding. So here we are in VS Code and I will leave the link below for the startup project. It's in my GitHub so you guys can go there and clone the repository and code along with me if you guys want. Here you have our index page, really simple with our h1 homepage. Our document, just to set the font family, our Roboto. And our app that uh, all of the Next.js projects has. And our component header, as you guys saw before. It's just to look beautiful and give a better look to our project. We are using Tailwind CSS just to make it easier to implement the navbar. It's totally responsive and it's super simple. So yeah, um, I have written some steps that we are going to follow throughout this tutorial. And first of all, we are going to create a folder inside pages called API and then alt and then next alt.ts. And then we are going to install the, the dependencies called next alt and SQLite. The SQLite is for the database and we need a, da a database to, to store our user data. But this SQLite is just for development and it's not a good practice using the SQLite for production environments. So yeah, let's go. Let's first install the next alt. And then let's install the SQLite 3. Perfect. Let's create our folder API, our folder alt, in our file next, oh, sorry, next alt ts perfect let's check these two steps so now let's go to the documentation of next alt to copy some files that we need so let's open our browser and type next alt example click the first link and here we go we have next alt we're gonna have to copy this put right here perfect then we have index.js or ts it doesn't matter let's copy this let's paste here and let's change this page for home perfect then we have app.js or .ts well actually we are not yeah let's type let's type this one um, here, perfect. We have to import provider here. Oh, perfect. Auto import, that's really good from VS Code. Um, here in return, we're gonna have to put this like this. Oh, yeah, perfect. And we're gonna have to put the provider right here session and page props dot session and let's put the component inside pro the provider so if you don't know what is a provider does to the component inside them it actually provides information and in this case we are going to provide the session so all the pages we have here will have access to our provider. So our user in this case. And as you can see here, we are using session that is from our provider inside the index. So yeah, we just finished copying. 
So now let's create our .env.local file and get our credentials from GitHub. We need the GitHub ID and secret that I'm gonna show you guys how to get from GitHub. So in our root, let's create a new file called .env.local. And then let's let's type here next out URL on http call host 3000 perfect then we're gonna have to add our github id our github secret oh sorry and then our database url uh, this one I think you can get from next alt. Let me check. Next alt URL. Well, no. Well, well, let's type. It doesn't matter. SQLite. Mm, Localhost. Memory. Oh, sorry. Synchronize. True. Perfect, like this. So now let's go to our browser in GitHub to get our credentials. After you sign in your GitHub, go to settings. Then developer settings. And then OAuth apps. Here I have in the next alt tutorial, I have already created to test. But you guys can uh, click here, new OAuth app, and it's really easy to create. After you guys done this, you're going to see a similar screen with your client ID and then the client secrets. You, prob you probably don't have this, but you can click here and generate a new client secret and then copy the client secret and the client ID and copy in our file. Let's copy. Well guys, don't try to use mine because it won't work. So create your own to try this. Okay, perfect. Oh, I noticed that there is a typo here. So just be careful. Let's save and test our file, our project right now. Yarn dev and let's open in our, our browser. Great, let's sign in. Sign in with GitHub and nice. There is my name right here, Guilherme. Sign in as Guilherme. Well, you guys are probably seeing the email because I've changed to my name because I didn't want to show my email here but let's sign out now just to check perfect it's working so now let's give a better look to our project and implement our navbar here using tailwind CSS let's go to our index um, well we can we can delete this everything here and let's type what we need to do. So first, when rendering client side, client side, don't display anything until loading is complete. And then if there is no session, no session exists, display a message to the user. And finally, if the session exists, the session exists, display content. Perfect. Let's start uh, importing our header. 
control, components, and header. Nice. So here, if loading return new, if load is true, return new. Right here, we can check if the loading is false. Oh. And if the session is false. So if the user is not logged in, we are going to display a message for him for him. Return. Let's open a fragment here to put everything. Our header. Let's create a div with a class. Oh, with a class name. Now h1. And then a button. The message will be you must be logged in to see this page content. Here you can add some padding, text center, and text this text size here. Here on click, we are going to trigger a function. It's the same that we are using before, the signing that we have here imported. Perfect. Let's put here sign in. Um, yeah, it's fine for this one. So now, if the user is logged in, let's return fragment here. header, the div with the class name, it didn't work, oh my god, the div, the class name, and is this, text center, and text, um, three, that's L. Inside the div, we can Display a message saying welcome. And as we have here, the session with all the user information, we can display here session.user.name. We have email, image, and name. Perfect name. Now let's check. Let's check if it's working. Oh, perfect. It's working. Signing, signing with GitHub, and welcome. Okay, so now let's implement our sign out and our user image here. Let's go to our header.ts, and here we can add a const session to get our user session use session don't forget to import perfect since you are using typescript we can create an interface right here navigation name it would be a string href string and then the current a boolean Here we can add the interface navigation. Perfect. Now let's find the user image and split the code. Okay, here. Oh, it. This is the view notification that we have here. So this button. Okay, here starts the drop down. Okay, it will finish right here perfect 
So before the button, let's create a fragment right here. Perfect. A session. So if there is no session, it will display this. It will display the sign in with GitHub that we are going to create. We don't need a href. We need a class name right here. And then the on click. It will trigger the the signing. So here as you can see I'm gonna type GitHub. Because remember that the last time when we clicked sign in we were redirected to a page with a list but it was just the github there but here we just need the github so when we click github here we will automatically be signing as the github let's import the signing okay it was imported perfect let's put here an image the image is already on your folder so don't worry about it svg uh, github and then signing with github let's add some classes here block ex f4 y okay the text sn text Three hundred. Nice. So now let's go to our button. So if the user is signing, oh, let's get this fragment right here and put under the menu here, right here. Perfect. And then the session. Let's check the session again if the session is true. We are going to return every everything here. The menu. Okay. Let's see if this is working. Oh, we don't have our sign out yet, so let's go right here and we can delete this. We can put right here. Oh, right here. On click. It will trigger this sign out. I think we have to import as well. No, it was imported. Okay. Perfect. There is true here. Okay. So long. So now let's check if it's working. And perfect, it's working. Let's try to sign in. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys like it. Um, I think it. We can. Oh, it's too small, right? Let's. Let's check this. The image right here. We can put the width it here. Um, maybe 28 pixels. It's fine. Okay, now it's working, and it's really good. It's signing with GitHub, and you can sign out as well. So that's it for the video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you like it, and if you have any comments just leave it below, I will try to bring more videos about Next.js and Node.js, so see you soon!